Oh, it's a nice one, too. What's going on, guys? Chiefs here, and today you are joining me on a brisk summer morning here in northern Michigan, and we are chasing earlier on King Salmon. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is wild. Things are damn near six feet tall. It's just got here and there are snagging rigs everywhere. Look all this bent out treble hooks. Look at this crap, man. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. Dude, people are so barbaric. Like they bite. Why? Why do people do this stuff, man? That is crazy. There's even more. These are brand new too. You can tell like somebody is like stashing these aside. I'm gonna throw them all out. Hopefully I don't get caught with them. Oh, that was white. Yeah, that was some king behavior right there, dude. Like, I know a trout. And I know like a weird king bite, and that was, yeah, that, was that was like two textbook. I could have set the hook and probably stuck them. Oh, oh. you see him? Yeah. Do you think we should slide down on the game? No, fish would be sharking in the holes and stuff. Which one? Yeah. We'll, we'll fish it again. Oh. Oh, yeah, dude. 100%. 100%. Straight down. Just straight down, right in the middle. Oh, what? Oh, it's a nice one, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's going to turn anything else up. Nice buck. Oh, don't go through the lodge. <laughs> He's right in it. He's right in that lodge. Jam. This thing's burning, dude. This thing's burning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> it's a nice fish. I want to get in, but I don't know. He's coming towards the inside. I just don't want to stir the hole up. <sighs> Walking the dog. Walking my pet fish here. Feels good to crack the seal, baby. First one of the year, guys. There you go, first one. Nice male. See if there's not a couple more stacked up in this hole. I'm trying to crack one that's like in that 20 pound range. I know there's some big adults in here, but we'll take what we can get, man. Sweet. Is that recording? Will you double check? I think I did. I'm not on this one, of course. Oh, oh, oh. That's a little better one. It is a bigger one. I can feel this in the head shakes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you see that bite? Oh, it's so wrapped up. Oh, it's gone. Oh no. Did he boss me? No, it was so wrapped up. I'd rather come back empty than have a big hook in its mouth, so whatever. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> I did slam it pretty good. <laughs> oh, he's hooked up. Oh, yeah. He's hooked up. Hold on, I gotta grab the camera. Grab the camera. 
No, you're good. Oh yeah, dude, this is a nice one for sure. It's better. Yeah, it's, it's got a it's got a paddle on it. No better feeling. I got <laughs> I, oh my gosh, it's about to freaking beach itself on the other side of the river, guys. I don't know if it's pushing 20 pounds. I hate throwing numbers out. It's just a nice fish. I like it. It's a nice big fish. I like it. I'm excited, all right? And that's just bottom line, but kind of had to just let that hole reset and freaking went. I hate tailing them because I always feel like somebody's got a freaking. Okay. Jesus. He's a little better, a little upgrade. Nice upgrade on the skein. Trying out these uh, Grand River Tackle Company one out hooks. They're actually sticking them pretty good. Hit them right in the schnoz. Didn't bend out or nothing, but. Got a nice mud puppy here. They get bigger than this, but hey, not going to complain. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Nice upgrade from that last fish. Big old adipose on them. Should rock it right out. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. I've been trying to pluck away at some of these holes for the last like three or four hours and I have not had a single bobber drop on a fish. Pretty much bird blue skies and it is getting hot out. That bite just shut right off. But I'll take what I got, two fish, six bites, not a bad day. Pretty typical for your late summer on these warm sunny days with low water. So I'll take what I can get. But if any of you guys wanna do anything like this, I still have a couple openings in September for guided salmon trips in Northern Michigan. Feel free to reach out to me. I'll have my contact information down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Should be the start of many more. I was hoping to, uh, to get a couple more out by now, but uh, I, actually drew, I actually blew the transmission in my truck last week, so I had to get that all figured out. But we're back at it. We're, we got some wheels, and uh, it should be pretty consistent from here on out. So if you guys enjoy, see you on the next one.